Hello, loves. Welcome to Tico Beauty for your hair tips that will level up your hair game and your confidence in your beauty. Today's hair tutorial will be showing you blonde ombre wig transformation on dark skin. This wig tutorial will show you how to secure your wig down and easily style it. So as you can see, I have colored this wig beautifully. Am I gassing myself up? Okay, I'm going to try not to. <laughs> but y'all, this wig was blood and sweat. It took me three days to achieve this color. Um, like down below if you want to know how I colored this hair or what products that I use. If you have any questions about it, go ahead and comment down below. But let's get to the to the gist of this video which is showing you how to secure and style this hair so I have my lace wig and it's 24 inches long and the closure is the lace closure and as you can see here I just sprayed a little bit of Gatsby glue and I secured the front of the wig as you see so and after this, I'm going to, after I spray it down, I hit it with a dryer on cool and let it set for a little bit. And then while it sets, I will part my hair into four sections and begin to curl it. I had to use my mirror real quick because it was hard to see while filming it. But yes, so... I'm gonna let you guys just see how I take my time and secure the way. Yes. That's how a lace closure should look up close. So here are the products that I used in my hair before I style it. And I use Bio Silk Serum. Love it. You can get it at your hair store or on Amazon. And I also used Paul Mitchell's Hairspray Stay Strong, I believe. And before I part it, I put the oil on the hair first and then I spray the hair and then I part the hair in four sections as you can see here. And now I'm going to begin to curl it. I use a one inch and one fourth barrel to curl the hair for this particular look that I did in this video so if you want this exact look I used one and one fourth inch size of the barrel So after I curl it, I set it with a hairpin, hair clip. You can get it at any hair store as well or online. And I want to quickly show you my method. So I clip the hair in and then I want I wrap the hair around the curling iron as if it's a wand. So when you do it on a curling iron, you get a mixture of a curl of a wand and of a curling iron and I really like this look It's very easy effortless and just it gives you such a classy look
So to set the curl, after you have curled it, you spray it with your hairspray and then pin it. You have to let this sit for about, let's say 10 minutes, and that will give you the full curl staying power. That will, I mean, this curls will last you all night. So here, the pins are all coming out of the hair and boom. These curls are photo shoot ready, seriously. So right here is the secret. You know, have you ever wondered how to get that really easy, nice, curly, but wavy hair? Kind of wave in the front? Well, you will just wrap the hair around the barrel and let it stay there for about 20 seconds and then you hold it in your hand as I did before and then you're gonna let it sit in your hand for maybe 10 seconds and then let it go and you get the, the wave just like how I have it right here and you will comb it down with the wide tooth comb as I have done so and then you're gonna hit it with hairspray For finished results, to tame down any flyaway, use your hairspray and immediately follow it with your dryer on medium heat and let it set for just a little bit. And after you've done that, your hair is ready to go. And after you've done curling it, you've combed it out and set it the way you want. With this method that I showed you, it will last you the whole night. Hairspray, hair pins, dryer is your best friend. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, see you soon.